Well, hello there, everybody. J Protostar here, back again on my bullshit. And by bullshit, I mean playing games. So tonight, I am going to be going back into one of my... Really, honestly, one of my favorite horror games ever made. Alien Isolation. We've got some interesting history with this game, uh, which I'll go into as I play, because the first act of this game is pretty damn slow, I must admit. So make sure my options are all good. Hindsight probably should have done this beforehand, but whatever. I just I was gonna play with my keyboard, but I decided to use a controller because I've been doing some homework and I'm borderline getting carpal tunnel. <laughs> all the typing, so yeah, I'll figure it out as I go. I just gotta remember where all the buttons are in comparison to a crappy Xbox controller. Oh, did I say that out loud? Uh, okay. Axis axes aren't inverted, so I can actually play the game right. And this should all be good, unless anything looks wrong when I'm playing, I'll fix it then. But as far as all that goes, just the usual stuff I always say. If anything's going wrong, please let me know so I can try and fix it. If my audio mixing's off, if I'm too loud, or game's too loud, or vice versa, just let me know. So I did, I know I did start this at some point when I got the game ages ago, um, but I'm just going to start again. I'm just going to do it on medium because when it's hard, it's just annoying to play. So let's just go with that. So anyway, here we go. So I played this originally on my PS4, 3, 4, no, it was my, well, technically... I first played this game on the PS3 back when I was in my, uh, was that my junior or senior year of high school? Shit, I can't remember. You know, I think it was my junior year. Final report of the oh, commercial I'll shut up. Starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. My gasp. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. You have to excuse the sniffles, I've been kind of under the weather today. Samuels. I work for the company. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. You don't own me. Your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. And just a suggestion, do you think that that suit you're wearing should be a little more zipped up so you don't get any sparks in your cleavage? That'd be bad. recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. Interesting. Check shit. <laughs> the unit was taken to Sevastopol station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. God, this game looks really damn good. Permanent freeport. I know what it is. <laughs> Ripley ain't got time for your shit. She is the daughter of Ellen, right? damn it. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. Travel out. Who? Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Nope. Game over. Roll credits. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I understand Ellen Ripley is your mother, Amanda Ripley. No.
still looking to find you. Yeah, by welding in a fucking hangar bay, you dumbass. I'm prepared to offer you a place on the Taurus if you want to come along. <laughs> Looks like the cover to Beyond Two Souls. Oh, look, we found the flight recorder, Amanda. Your mother's corpse. Honestly, I wasn't sure what the hell a flight recorder was going to look like until I found it in the game. So, uh, hey, I can see my feet. Oh, and I just kicked my, my, my flip-flops. How am I going to wear these? What are these? Ooh, a door opened. All right, I'm already good at this game. I'm kind of tempted to try and throw this up on my TV so I can play it, well, on on a bigger screen than my lap or laptop, my computer monitor. Do I have to? Is, is, is getting dressed really an objective I need to fulfill? Eh. Fuck you, computer. I control your fate! Lulu and Jutani. Okay, what's in here? Okay, probably, probably should shower all that shit off that you get submerged in. That's the good stuff. All right, that's not an achievement. It should be. Where am I going again? Oh, that's right. There's a computer here. Let's see what fresh readings I have. I'm always afraid to like try and read these in voices now because I can't tell. Well, I can't tell who's writing them. Belaine, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship. He's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story, make a cold cut undercut him, picked up all his clients, contracts getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sebastopol Station, what a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland you Donnie pay well. Good luck to you, you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. An opportunity to do all kinds of crazy voices here. Okay, now which one do I not remember? Oh, okay, which is the... There's the map, okay. Get dressed is over here. Because I'm, I'm an idiot that can't read. Okay. I always love this one little... If this... I don't know if this is an actual kanji or not, but... Does, any, can, if, does anyone look at that and not see the smiley face? And if you didn't, I'm sure you'll never be able to see it now, so haha. -ha. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Not that it matters, because pretty much nothing exciting is going to happen for a couple hours, probably. Yeah, I love this system of saving in real time. You have to wait, so it's not like you can just save it for the things about to attack you or whatever. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but... <laughs> it adds another level of, temp yeah, another level of tension once, once the story actually kind of gets going. How do I run again? I don't remember how I'm supposed to run. Oh, I'm sure it'll tell me. Like a, oh, that's right. This, this is like this is so weird. This little, I mean, it, it's nice to have this little corner peak system, but it's a little odd to me. Oh, and there's Samuels. Okay, I'm seriously just hitting random buttons trying to make this chick run. What could that mean? A well known chemist of sorts. I realize it's a very similar model to Minestrama. Yes, Emstrama. A later hmm. version of a close successor. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. It's Taylor, isn't it? She's not a seasoned traveler. I don't know. Is she? So you look up at me, bitch. <laughs> I guess I better actually turn on subtitles. 
Sometimes I play with them on, sometimes I don't, but I'll go ahead and, whoop, I'll go ahead and hit it twice just to screw people up. Okay. I'll just leave that on just to be on the safe side. You know, guys, I'm suspicious about Samuels. I mean, he says he doesn't sleep as much as the rest of us. Seems a little stiff. I think he might be a vampire. Don't tell him I said that, though. He shouldn't know. All we do is gotta do is find a son and we can test my theory. Oh, how convenient. Someone stacked all their shit here so I can't climb up. That's too bad. That <laughs> game trying to jump scare me before things even get going. It only worked the first time. So anyway, speaking of the first time, so I originally got this game on my PS3 back in junior year. I think it was like, oh, I know, I think it was actually about around this same time of year. I'm pretty sure it was in the fall. But, um, and I just went in a circle because I'm a moron. This is why I check the map consistently because I never know where the hell I'm going. And so I tried picking up this game after it's been a, it's been a while since it came out. Um, but I really like watching Markiplier's review, or review playthrough of it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And this was before I could do anything horror-related, like, at all. It just, I couldn't do it. I kind of can. Oh, all right. You just want to be a bitch about it. What do you mean, you people? Yeah, I did actually. But anyways, so I I picked up the game. I'm, I'm trying to talk here, lady. Looks like we're up. Uh, let's see. What are you? This drama. Uh, I'm just gonna read this one quickly. Ah. Hey, Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig up files, and it's still happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the DLP, okay, this is just, it's a cane. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, this is just, this is just talking, giving you details of what happened to Alien, the movie, which you should go see, because it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I got this game, and I tried playing it, and I got to the point where the Xenomorph actually starts hunting you, and I gave up because I couldn't play it because I can't take tension. Hell yeah, let's look at some space. So I gave up on this game, traded it back, and bought Tatsune Miku Project Diva F Second, and I love that game. And that was a good, that was a good trade in. <laughs> uh, eventually, I came back to it. I think when it went on sale. This was after I got my PS4, so I think this was actually after I graduated. Um, but I picked it up from PS4 when it went on on sale, and um, yeah, oh yeah, I get my Ruby documents. And I went back, and this time I actually played it. I got all the way through the game, and it was... But this game is pretty much the reason I can kind of do horror stuff now. Before, I could not at all. Just couldn't t stand it. But after this, I watched all the Alien movies. Now I've seen a bunch, and like, Halloween and stuff like that. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. <laughs> Is that damage? <laughs> Looks like damage. Punch up 74. Tight angle. Like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't tell jack shit. How do you see on those damn CRT futuristic monitors? Commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Utani Bond, 
You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. Hey, I got all I needed. Seriously, Marshall, wait, seriously, situation. That's enough for me to stay the fuck away from this place. Lockdown. See? No, let's not, let's not do this. Nuke the site from orbit! Nuke the site from orbit! Station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted sound you'll suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the torrents in transit for 20 minutes. You have to miss by then. Or will she? You can't walk in space, sweetheart. Come on. <laughs> You're just going in the vacuum of space. It's totally fine. I can't believe they didn't have like a different option for this. It's like, well, we can't, we can't land the giant ship on there, so let's just fucking send three people out into the middle of, well, not in the middle of space, but into space to get onto it. Like, if that's, like, doesn't it have, like, a docking station like the Nostromo did? And there's the fuck up we were all waiting for. The music's getting dramatic! Oh, I love the sound design though. Realistic, I like it. You can't hear in space. In space, no one can hear you scream. Oh, thank god that door still works. Been up shit creek without a paddle, otherwise. Like, did they wait? I didn't think about it. How did they confirm that the doors were working? I mean, imagine how screwed they'd have all been if they get out there, the thing blows up, and none of the doors work. That'd have been that'd have been distressing. More so already than dealing with a giant explosion while you're in the middle, while you're floating through space. Wake up time, Ripley. Wake on up, people. Okay. Let's do get help. We're not doing get help. You're right, we're doing find help. Okay, okay, it is just, then you just couldn't sprint before, okay. That's interesting. Fun fact, never sprint in this game ever once the Xenomorph actually starts following you or you will die. I find that so funny they give you that option, but you never ever want to use it unless it's looking to specifically scripted moment where you're supposed to be running because if you do run it's it's suicide it's gonna drop right down near you if not right on top of you oh gee. okay if you've never played this game you don't get it but i just had like a huge moment of anxiety when i walked under that thing Like, walking under vents is just something you don't do in this game, ever. I mean, technically, as long as you don't see its saliva dripping down, it's not a big deal. But I just learned not to do it after it dropped on me once and it scared the ever-living shit out of me. But anyway, as I was saying before things started blowing up, yeah, I played through this game and I kind of... I wouldn't say I totally got into horror, it's just I can withstand consuming certain horror properties now there's some stuff i'm still not a fan of 
I'm generally I generally like the sci-fi stuff more. But I'm a huge fan of the original Alien, and I also love Aliens, which I consider my favorite movie of all time. Okay, what should I do? So, boys and girls, you probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol's being decommissioned. I'll go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits won't let us know the skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I can relate to that. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal weights. Chief. And another folder corrupted. There's some tech they've got here. Okay, that kind of that that spooked me. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played this game. Hell, actually, I haven't played this game all the way through since I did the first time, and that was two years ago, give or take. Ooh, a lightsaber. Oh, no, it's a flare. Oh, well, I'll take what I can get. B, open radio inventory. LS, just like that. Press X, I don't need it. I can see just fine. I'll tell them what to do, game. Eh. Uh, at least I have to deal with the TSA. Someone new, you always know, working Joe. I'm already getting some real bit of Dead Space vibes from this. Ooh, a ladder. I wonder where it leads. Probably nowhere, considering it doesn't. Actually, did I climb this ladder before? I don't know if I've ever gone up here before. Huh. What's the radio playing my favorite music that I don't know what this is? Huh, holy crap. Huh. This door opens. Okay, no, no, I did go the right way. I'm just an idiot that can't remember anything because, again, memory of a goldfish. I wish they got my scrap. You have to talk a little louder if you want anyone to actually hear you. I have a feeling you don't want people to hear you. And honestly, if I walked to this place, I probably wouldn't either. There's a bunch of locked doors. Forgotten. Creepy noises. Yeah, I'd say this is our game. Yeah, and I got a map. Who's beeping at me? And one pump. One, two pumps. Three pumps. And boop. And just like that, we've got power. Hey, I'm pretty good at this. Okay. Let's log into Savastabink. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. She should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe I'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Okay, that was really that was a really bad trying to do a girl voice, but oh, whatever, bite me. <sighs> okay, this okay. Public notice, the decommissioning of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seeks and Corps would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Seeks and has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Siegson's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe Androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Seeks and core. Kind of dipped into like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever. I'll let them talk.
Restore power to departures. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey, look, people. We're not alone on the station after all. All right. Call labor. That's the I got into. Okay. Well, we've got some power restored, which means I can continue on from here. Yeah, they really try to psych you out with all the vent noises. Oh boy, live wire. It's amazing this place somehow is holding together after it's blown up so many times. I know, right? Place looks like Detroit. Oh man, the Zing Zang's closed. Best on the station, what I'm assuming was Chinese food. Damn. Damn it, now I want Panda Express. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't even think they're open this late. Doesn't matter anyways. Hmm. Well, maybe that's what I'll do for lunch tomorrow. I don't know. Oh look, it's the ship! Yes! We can get out of here! Alright. I'd like the flare as a joke, but I really don't want to waste it. Yeah. Oh, we're here! Oh, I can't, I can't jump! Yeah, you see the giant fucking light? How is this not, like, noticing I'm here? Yo! What's up? No, no. Who's closing these? Motherfuckers, who's closing these? You said it, Amanda. I almost called you Ellen on accident. Like, okay, but seriously, did... Did someone close those? Or... Oh, boy. God damn. Okay, I have to hand it to this game. It is very good at freaking you out. I mean, I know for a fact that I am literally not in any danger until a certain point in the story and I am still creeped out. That's how good an atmosphere this game has. It's crazy. Between all the big boom noises, like the empty ambiance of this whole area, the lighting, the sounds of vents, noises, and the occasional hiss. It's really good at creeping me out. Stop power. Yeah, well, I, I feel like just graffitiing that is not really going to do you any good. Obviously, you need help, but no one on the outside is going to be able to see that ill all the way in here. Come on, guys, be reasonable. Just... All right, more pumping. Five, one, and two, and three, and button press. Now to play some video games. What if Polybius is in here? Uh, signal? Why is there signal for an arcade cabinet? The game should be in the thing. Come on, this is future 80s technology. Or 70s. I don't know. Hold on. I'll take you. Okay, at least that door is open. Time to move on. Yeah, you can go to hell. Wait, what am I trying to grab here? There's some scrap. Uh, use cigarettes. Don't smoke, kids. It'll kill you. Trust me, I know. Not because I've died from smoking them, because someone in my family did. That was a weird way to word that. Whatever. Okay, let me try and do a different girl voice, and hopefully it won't be as bad. Or maybe it'll be worse. Let's see what happens. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and if they're pulling the plug, going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Well, that didn't sound too bad in my head. 
To all spaceflight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. What is Apollo? Apollo is a central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Sikhs and working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. So wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Season. Tomorrow. Together. Okay. Okay. Let's play you. What I really like about this game, which I find I say a lot on these streams, but whatever, um, is how unlike stuff with like a, with Dead Space and uh, Dead Space and Prey, which admittedly I haven't even come close to finishing yet, uh, with this game it's just it, it's pretty obvious like things went to shit really really quick. And it's just kind of funny to think about how that happened. I mean, because, like, with Dead Space, there was, like, this really big buildup that kind of led to it. But, well, no, I guess that's kind of true for this game, too. I just... Okay, never mind what I said before. What I mostly think like is how the story is kind of told through the whole recording thing. I like that style of storytelling, where you kind of got to seek stuff out. And if you suck at finding things like I often am, you can always just, you know, look them up online to get the whole backstory. But it's kind of neat with the first time you're playing... Yeah, no shit. And uh, you're just kind of figuring out the story for yourself. And then afterwards, you go to the wiki and start getting all the in-depth information. Cause that's what I did with Dead Space. Which, admittedly, is another horror game I really love. And I could probably try to play on here, but... Go. Yeah, I love the first Dead Space. It's almost like a third-person Metroid horror for me. Because it's got some of this... Well, not not quite. I think the... Mm, no, I guess it kind of is, because even though there are specific levels for it, you're still going back to backtracking it in one big area. I do really like that Dead Space 2 as well, because it's a little more linear. And I like that style as well. That one just kind of... There's a lot of disturbing shit in Dead Space 2. And not just the eye surgery. Oh, I'm fucking Christ! Oh, God damn it! Okay, so what was I? Oh yeah, beside the eye surgery, which admittedly I did screw up once. Okay, so what? Did you just like jump the bear? Where the hell? Okay. Okay, why was that? That that happened literally just for a jump scare because it means he jumped over this barricade and ran here, and then went right back into the room that he ran from. So that was a shameless jump scare alien isolation. There was no justification for that at all. Like, where the hell did he go? That door's locked. That door's got the brace thingy on it. You know? So he, like, ran across and just disappeared. So you know what? I'm convinced that was a ghost. Oh, that's a lot of sleeping bags. So, hey. Looters will pay. Well, no, they won't. They're looters. That's kind of the whole idea. By the way, if you're a looter, you're like the scum of the earth. Well, one of the people I classify as scum of the earth. I mean, if you followed at all that hurricane that swept through, uh, what was it, South Carolina lately? I mean, there's just a news recording of these, this news 
broadcast, like a local news team, is just like standing outside the store. All these people are just running in and stealing shit. Like, really? This is what you're gonna do with with your life is take advantage and rob the hell out of some store because an emergency happened. I mean, and, and stores are already bad, but the people that go into other people's houses are just like, you people are the worst. All right, we got some good noises going. Okay, this I can't get into yet. What in the hell are you? Huh. Yeah, this is a good idea. Let's just sleep out in the open. <laughs> I guess it might have been like an early thing where they probably knew what was going on. And there's another vent to make me very, very uncomfortable. And you're locked. All right, what am I doing here? Hmm. Maintenance jack. All right. Again, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm not going to remember everything right away in this beginning part. But clearly, I can still get the piss kicked out of me by the dumbest freaking jump scare okay do I need to like say hi to this thing first and then I can find it or Jesus God fucking damn it why go to hell whoa what the what why are there random red lines here I think an effect didn't fit completely phase out I'm just gonna say yeah Get through the maintenance door. Okay, so now I just gotta find my fucking thing. So I'm talking about it. even talking to myself. Well, technically, but even even talking to the stream and knowing full well that nothing's happening yet. His stupid jump scare still got the better of me every time. Okay, I know. There's a place around here somewhere with a vent that I can use to go get the maintenance jack, which is not in, not in there. I feel like I'm, I'm looking in the wrong place. And I probably am. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, you kicked the can. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna like remember where it is, just feel like a complete moron. Okay, I already did that. And that's just back out to the places before places before. And that is also right back to the same place. Okay, come on, game. I don't need to look like a tool. I just need a tool. Is this place open? No, that's right, that that way is closed. Up there, the looters will be something. <laughs> Fuck the marshals. Oh. It is open now. Okay. There's another save. See if there's anything worth looting around here. Don't call me a hypocrite, these people are dead. Taking things from here is for survival, not for gain. Personal gain. Or a gain to do your laundry with. I mean, I'm sure someone was stealing that, but whatever. Okay, yeah, here we go. I'm just a big dumb idiot that can't remember where anything is. Um. Uh, Waits. Led, lie. Oh, wait, slide to us. Okay, duh. All right. Hmm. 
Oh, is that an NES Advantage? I mean, if it, if it had more buttons. No, 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 stay open. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Climbing up. I see sparks aren't catching my hair on fire. Wee! Alright, dead guy. Uh, I'll say. He's got the maintenance jack! Oh, hell yeah! Fuck yeah! Okay, question. Why are there bugs on a space station? Like, did someone, like, have a roach collection or something, and they just kind of let it run wild? I mean, like, like, seriously, why are there bugs on here? This is a space station. Who let bugs onto the station? Oh, it works, dead guy. It's all right. It's all good. I got your story. Oh, LT and RT. Okay. There's uh, the bumpers on the PS4. Or, or the shoulder buttons. Okay. Now I've got doors to go through. Yeah. This seems like a really dumb system of, like, like, do I break those little padlocks, this thing off? I can't, I can't really tell by when I watch, but if you're breaking the locks to take them out, that's like really, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, hmm. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Wasteful, kind of. Excuse me, inefficient, that's what I'm looking for. Inefficient. We can't even tell me your name. We're gonna be here all of a long time. I do kinda know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. And I am going in a circle again. Is there something else here I missed? No, no, I'm just an idiot. Okay. That was good enough for that. <coughs> yeah, don't try and fake me out, game. Don't give me that shit again. Oh man, there's things are everywhere! Oh, he's still sleeping. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see if I can get to the other side without triggering the event to continue. Okay, I can. Cool. Are those lines still there? Oh, looks like they're gone now. Weird. Okay, open up. I suppose I can question why Zeno never shows up during the beginning when I'm running all over the damn place, but... 
I mean, my question's even more valid when you consider what happens later in the story, but I will not spoil that just in case you have not seen it. I just realized I should have titled this part one. I will have to change that. Actually, let me just do that real, real quick here. Let me just change it to part one. It's really convenient. I can just change all the stuff on the app. And with any luck, I might actually stream tomorrow as well. I'll have to be up early the next day, and I have the day off from work. So we'll see what happens. I've only got one thing to do in the morning. Okay, blasting cap. Da, da, da. All right, more things for crafting that I can't do yet. Okay. <laughs> That's new. All right. I think that was the only door over here I needed to open. So now time to progress with the story as things get a little more interesting and now it's time to escape from this area after you trigger like that oh that's a gun Jesus, dude, I thought you wanted to hide. Damn. Right. Where'd you come from? Ripley. <laughs> A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. But things are not so good here. Something flew just now. Rocked this whole place. We noticed. Yeah? <laughs> Both that. Yeah? Like what? Kill her. You get it? Okay. Okay, he says the man waving a gun in my face. I will believe you that there's a killer on this station. Really vague, though. What's your name? Hudson. I was boating with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. I don't know if it has a lot of zippers on it. Because you seem to know your way around. I can fly. What's in it for me? Place on the ship. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. Of course, of course, I just met an Irishman. How can I not be lucky? Seek some comms within the system. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. Watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble here. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. I like this. I like the little systems of unlocking stuff. Feels pretty natural to hit these buttons rather than just hitting one button. Was that you following me back there? Hmm. Can't you hear the jump scare? Oh, so you're the asshole who jump scared me, but okay, again, if you weren't moving anywhere, how did you like not how did I not see you? Trouble! Shoot him. Okay. Do it. I, I'm sorry. Good luck. Bullshit! <laughs> yeah. Leave them around. They're more running targets for that thing. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone is running ship scared. Keep them to the norm. Safe for that. Also, what was the point of giving us aliases? Like, what the fuck are they gonna do with our actual names, you know? Well, another question I have about this game is why didn't they bother with this whole like killer facade shit? That's a reference I don't understand. I guess it's probably just for the sake of having Ripley surprised when it actually does show up. It's like, ooh, look. Hold up. Hmm. Let me get the elevator. 
Allow me. This is over. Needs a special touch. It looks, looks to me like you just hit the fucking buttons. Does this one need the special touch as well, or can I just hit the button? What are you waiting for? Hit the button. Oh, I'm just. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Just remember, make sure I do it right, Mr. Special Touch. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Whoa, he just got offensive. Let me get to the ship. It's too fast. Read each other's heels. Uh, that's gonna be a problem because of uh uh never mind. I need to know what's going on. Right fucking now. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer. Yeah? What does that even mean? It means there's something that's killing people! God, you're stupid. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. Oh, that's why he brings it up here. So I can't you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep moving on. Hey, so you got another one of those guns there? I, I could use one. What is it? You said something, boy? What is it? What is it, special touch? Shit. You need to move. This way. Get down. This is bullshit. It's really <laughs> I wonder what happens if you just run straight up to him. There's no way off. <laughs> At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? And we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. I am somewhat curious that they didn't manage to kill a Xeno when they've got this much firepower. You'll have to go land them. Follow me. Like, I know the thing's tricky, but in Aliens, they managed to take out a few of them with just guns, even when they got surprised by them. And that was multiples. Friends of yours? Oh, you're real fucking funny, dude, outside. They don't like to Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called survival. That's not what I meant, and you know it. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear it makes people crazy. I have no way to stop it. Which is funny, because my instinct would be to get to a really big group with a lot of guns, and that way, whenever the thing shows up, we could all shoot the hell out of it. Oh, don't I feel honored? We can get them in dark range. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you stock up on batteries. I do like this flashlight design. <laughs> Breaks it. <laughs> cool. Be careful not to flash it around. We don't want this to this button's Y, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Awesome. Trying to get in the swing of things. Okay. This way. Wait, hang on. There's a player. So this dude, have you seen him playing card games with himself? Seems like he's been playing card games with himself. And not solitaire by the looks of it. Luckily, I can kind of see the giant freaking orange door on the thing. I need to see something. See, got it covered. Can't really see because I'm concerned with flashlight, but whatever. Come on. You're surpri surprisingly comfortable around that live wire. Come on, dude. Let's go. 
I'm, I'm here. Let's move on. It's not smart to stay here too long. I've noticed. Seems a lot of people end up dead when they stay here too long. Why aren't you saying Quiet. the meta? I hear something. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Got to talk to the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down in this place. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. So we'll make it through this. I promise. Hmm. Random dude plays a pronoun game, so I have to question what the hell he's talking about. Play the pronoun game twice, actually. Yo, so we can go up and beat him up now, right? Right? Tell me I'm right, Mr. Magic Touch. And yes. Alright. Cool. Anything over here? No, okay. Did it what? Don't fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, that distracted him, didn't it? Uh, it's funny. Oh. I was going to make a joke, but I feel like it would have been in really bad taste. I wonder who. This place is way too big to have to have secured. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss, the goddamn store clerk. Yeah, maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. I think I'm just sitting here and listening to this domestic. Nothing. It just turned itself on? No. Somebody's here. Doesn't seem to be broken. Who's there? Come out and we won't hurt you. Oh. Okay. I'm waiting. I need to move, dude. Let's go. Where the fuck you? I can go. Axel, are, 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 are you waiting on something? Or do I have to go? I, I'm right here, dude. Let's, let's go. I'm just going to walk on without you, and hopefully you will start moving. There we go. Fuck, that's way too much shit for me to read out loud. Okay, two man lock. You gotta have two people at the same time do the thing. And here's a bunch of stuff these guys have. Again, dude, you are getting out of the way. 
Also, you look like Lord Voldemort. Anyone ever told you that? It's not in the day, sweetheart. We just found another dude here, or I'd be screwed here. Ready. On two. One, two, three. That was after three. Me, he took out his gun literally right before that happened. <laughs> I like how he <laughs> hit from behind. And die! Or get stunned. Now die! Let's check him for cash. Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. And probably worse. We need to go. Now. Yeah, so why the fuck are you standing here? Like, hey, we need to go now. And they're just like, oh hey, there's a dude. Shoot him. Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. <laughs> Another delivery love. They killed him. And now things get interesting. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Hit my mic. This is about survival. <laughs> understand. I think you're about to understand how to not survive. How could I not? <laughs> See, that one didn't get me because I remembered that one. Not today. Yes. What the hell was that? I don't know. I don't want to stick around and find out. Seriously, all those dudes running around making noise, and he's the one that gets grabbed. I don't get it. Where do I want to go? I didn't miss something here. I feel like I missed something, but whatever. <laughs> like this, this part is fucking brilliant. Like the first time I was terrified the entire time. And it's still creepy as shit. I'm just like sitting here waiting for this fucking thing to show up. I keep hearing the Xeno. Waiting for it to come for me. The music doesn't help. And just as things showing up, that hissing happens. You freak out. God, I still, I'm still freaked out. I still want the damn thing to open. I want to get the fuck out of here. <sighs> yeah, that still stresses me out. That's freaky shit. Yeah, well, obviously there are guys with guns. Who boy.
Alright. Perfect, just what I need to get through this. Whiskey. Hey, dead guy, got anything on you? Yes, you do. Yeah, so it definitely breaks that lock. That's definitely inefficient. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, cool, same spot. Alright. I think I'm actually going to call it here for the night. I know it was kind of a, on the short side, um, but I have to be up early tomorrow. Uh, but like I said, I will probably stream again tomorrow evening. Uh, it'll just be... I have I have one place... I have some place I need to be in the evening, but I'll be back before 9, so I shall probably stream at that point. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining me tonight on our first venture into an actual horror game that's not Dead by Daylight, and I will see you all next time I'm, I'm, I'm streaming. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.